Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play part one from my arrangement of the Hungarian Rhapsody. Uh, I have sheet music written out for this. It is a three page arrangement that I made uh, to be kind of easy intermediate. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description so you can easily find that. And this tutorial is specifically going to deal with this arrangement. So first let me play for you what this should sound like when it's all done. So today we're going to learn the first 16 measures of this arrangement. This is uh, most of page one. This piece was originally written in the key of F sharp, which means there's six sharps in it. So to make this much easier to read, I have transposed this down a half of a step to the key of F major, which only has one flat in it, a B flat. Ironically, the very first note of this piece is a B natural. So let's start with second finger on B natural. And I'm just going to say uh, what some of the notes are for the first four measures. And then I'm going to play them in rhythm. So that way you can hear what they sound like. So starting with the second finger on B, we have B, C, then second finger is going to go to B flat, C, B, C, B flat. C, then B, C, A, C, B, C, A, C. Here's what rhythm to play them in. to the next four measures we're going to continue the same rhythm pattern just the notes are going to be a little bit different this time b c d c b c d c b c f c b c f play through the first eight measures and this is in the time signature two four so basically there's two beats in a measure one two one two like that all right Basically, the next eight measures are exactly the same music, just this time we're going to be playing it much quieter. So rather than playing it forte, we're going to try playing it piano. Through these 16 measures, the left hand's going to be playing completely in quarter notes, so just two notes per measure. So in some of the measures, you're going to see that the two notes are G and C. And some measures are going to be F and C. G, F, 
G F Through the eight quiet measures, the left hand's still going to be using G, C, and F, C, but we're going to spread those out across two octaves. So it starts off with G, C, down to G, C. You may find that there's different ways to play this. Um, for myself, I like playing one, two, three, five. Kind of my hand is hopping down. You may choose to do one five, one, five, whatever is very easy for you to accomplish. I would try first using your fingers spread out and see if you're able to do that. That reduces the amount of jumping that you have to do. And that concludes our first 16 measures, the opening of our Hungarian Rhapsody. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.